Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. Hope you are doing good. This video is regarding a mini project based on movie ticket booking system using Java, Swing and Event concepts. So this concept is requested by one of the subscribers uh, called Priya and she uh, have requested to explain Java mini program in theater online booking system using AWT and Swing. So I have gone through it means uh, to implement this uh, mini project where um, first let me show you the output how it is going to look like and let me run this yeah there you go so this is the output and this is a gif file which I have used just for graphics purpose all right so the options over here is that ticket type you need to select uh, either adult or child or senior citizen let me go with adult and uh, the block which I want to uh, select like the seat number either in left side or center seat that is mid or right block alright I'll go with left block and the time of the show of the movie basically so 13, 15, 17 and all uh, let, let me go with 13 and I, I need to click show and then it will be showing the available uh, you know seats over here so now nothing is reserved I mean nothing is booked here so now I have selected left block so this is the left block I need to block ticket number or oh, sorry the seat number is 4 so let me say 4 here and I will say submit so which means that now it is blocked and it's not available right now because it is booked so the price is uh, 500 so whenever I click pay button uh, I need to take amount money uh, from the uh, client and I need to uh, give him a slip, right? I need to generate, a, uh, you know, a confirmation slip. So let me click pay. Success tickets are booked. So now I need to, uh, you know, print that uh, slip, which is uh, basically uh, I'll just go to C drive and uh, users, my name, and underneath that I need to go to my documents. Uh, basically, I'm getting into my project folder that is uh, NetBeans projects, and here it is, uh, Cinema Ticket Booking System. And you know, you see this. There is a, a file which is generated after clicking this button, pay button, that is called as tickets. So, which ticket I have blocked? Uh, I mean, the seat number. The seat number which I have blocked is number four, right? So, it is showing that ticket details, ticket number four, and the price is 500. Yes, for that seat, it is 500 and the, the type is adult and his show uh, timing is this 13 hours and uh, he has looked, uh, booked left block so this is the receipt for that so uh, now let me just uh, test this so I want to book so uh, what if uh, a user again trying to block the same um, seat number in the same block uh, now the ticket number is uh, seat number is 4 let me click on submit it is not going to show that this seat is taken and cannot be booked fine so now I just want to block another ticket let me say uh, 5 ticket number seat number 5 and I'm gonna click on submit so now this position is also booked and as it is adult the ticket is 500 I'm gonna click pay click ok now this will get updated now it should show sheet seat number is 5 yes and it is okay so all right so what if uh, it is a child uh, uh, and I'm gonna block seat number uh, six so let me say six and submit the price is 200 for child and let me say pay and click ok now it is going to it will generate so basically we have used file reader for this I uh, hope you uh, know reader and writer concepts like buffers buffered input stream output stream so we have used file reader concept over here you see this it is seat number is 6 and it is child like so it is updated so I, I can easily print this one and then I can hand over it to them fine so this is uh, just a demonstration just a mini project still it can be enhanced so now let me go back to the source code and we'll give you uh, I'll just walk through the source code right now so these are the packages which I have used AWT and even swing and IO as we are doing input output operation that is uh, for printing this ticket number seat number which I have selected fine and the class name is booking and which extends JFrame you know what 
why we have used JFrame and uh, which this is an interface that is actions which we are going to perform over here. Uh, I, re I recommend you guys to watch my previous videos on Java tutorial with practical stuffs. Uh, I have shown some practical impl implementation over there. Over there, you can see around 15 videos with different concepts. So I have given the disc uh, link in the description box. You can check it as well. So get your concepts clear in that. Fine. Um, so these are all the variables where I need to calculate the cost because in this screen, if, if you see this, um, after selecting the seat number and all, the cost is uh, printed here, I mean displayed here based on the type and uh, block which because basically the center block is a little bit costly when compared to this left and right. Okay, So, uh, so that is why I need to uh, store some values into these variables. So I just declared variables first uh, and, and these are all the choices because this is a choice this is a choice uh, button uh, uh, option where uh, I need to go for these choices. So I have take type, block and time for these things I have used choice and button. I have, um, I have three buttons over there and, uh, and, these, and these are all uh, the things, I mean seat seats which uh, I have uh, created an array and you know or, or dropped it over there, fine. And the total size is under uh, a, a ticket array is about 30. And you see this uh, booking method and the size of the screen and initially uh, yeah set resizability is true which means that you can resize this 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 window so if you say if it is uh, false for example uh, it is not going to be uh, uh, you know you can't resize this let me close this and run this again and so now there is uh, no maximize button here you see this and I can't even resize and yes something is missing here we don't have title here let me set the title uh, let's say set title and double quotes ticket booking yes okay All right. let me run this again yes we got this and the layout which I have used here is flow layout and uh, I have made a video on this also there were different types of layouts for example if, uh, if you can play around with all these options if, if I want a grid layout let me show you how it is going to appear so this is grid layout and I will close this and it is going to uh, put all our content in grids so this is a grid 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 right so like this you can play around with all other uh, you know layouts and you have to specify uh, the exact location of these controls so that uh, the controls will be displayed accordingly so let me go with flow as of now uh, yeah fine and uh, if you want to add additional GIF files to just enhance the graphics content uh, in your project then just go for this, something like this so you can display a banner like this, Dolby, digital sound, and all all these kind of stuffs. But these controls will be, you know, will not be aligned in a proper way. You have to align this again. Fine. So it's, again, it's up to you to, uh, you know, decide where you have to display these controls. Fine. So here I have mentioned the uh, font style, font size, bold, and everything. Even these things can be modified. And here, uh, yeah, I'll go with this. So these are all the choices I have added, adult, uh, child and senior citizen and these are all the, again, uh, the block choices and these are all the timings of the show. So again, these things can be modified. So all these things got added into this and if you have, uh, and if you need to implement additional uh, GIF files, you can uh, implement it because I have a, I'll show you a project. So this is my project folder basically uh, and I have created this folder IMG and I have copy pasted uh, these GIF files uh, over here and if you require then you can use all these uh, you know GIF files over there fine so all these things got added into into this uh, content and uh, fine so so here we, we we are just positioning those uh, three stuffs I mean let me show you that those seat numbers like left uh, mid and to the right so he so this code re represents those things and let me take you to the another um, method where which we have used 
so so here we are just positioning everything and we are just adding everything to this content pane okay and there is an important method called paint you know why we use this paint we will do paint repaint if you want to print even uh, uh, something some stick uh, text we will say draw string and all so here we have uh, got some choices because we have different time uh, uh, choice over there so accordingly we need to you know uh, uh, select uh, the seat and uh, all so here in uh, case one it, it goes up to case nine and uh, and there is a default case and so the action in action performed we just want to say that because the user can select anything right from 0 to 15 because it is showing 0 to 15 in the left 0 to 15 in the mid 0 to 15 in the right so the action performed if if, if the user select seat number two then it should be you know the that seat number should be set and it should be printed fine so that's what we are uh, doing over here and here uh, if if a user is selecting this time i mean the show time and if he is trying to book the left uh, block and if that particular thing is taken okay and then we need to immediately we need to do, uh, display this message that the seat is taken and cannot be booked right if not then he is allowed to book the ticket so this is what we are going to do with all other timings like different timings we have and for different blocks like right block and mid block is there so that's what we are going to perform here fine and also for, uh, for each uh, seat booking we are going to display the total price so this is in separate method i'll show you uh, it, it is right below okay so we are doing all these stuffs uh, for the different timings fine and the next important method is here let me take it to this yes and uh, here we are uh, yes so this is an important um, method we say that so i have put this one in try uh, block you see this file writer i was mentioning uh, for this tickets uh, which is right there so to generate this text file i mean uh, we can say a confirmation bill or a receipt right for this booked uh, what tickets they have booked so uh, we have used uh, io uh, package over there and within that we are using file writer and this is the file name which it is going to create and even this can be changed if you want to change this one and we are just passing all these things like uh, what we have taken get the seat number method so all these things are method so seat price get type like uh, child or adult or the timing and what they have blocked the seat number so it is going to print so we are just pre you know printing all these things that's it and we are closing it and and if and catching if there is any exception that's it so this is an important stuff okay so and again there is a main method and we are just creating an object for the booking class okay so now here uh, we have a seat class because uh, and we have variables over here and uh, this is a constructor with four parameters and it is going to display that which seat we have taken uh, over here and we are just going to return uh, the seat taken and this we are going to set which seat they have selected okay so and here there is a, a ticket class and again we have got few uh, variables because here we are going to mention the price uh, based on the ticket type and okay and you see this here um, if it is left block for adult 500 senior citizen 300 child uh, uh, 200 and if it is mid the cost is high right so it's up to you to you know fix these things and again we are going to return all these things return price return time uh, of the ticket i mean the show timing and block ticket what type it is get the seat number so all these things we are going to use uh, and see these are all the methods which we have used uh, to print i mean in the file writer class right so this is the entire thing and uh, uh, the code comes around uh, 1058 to 59 lines over here and so, so this is the output so uh, again you can again I'm saying that this is not the uh, finalized code uh, still it can be enhanced still there are a few uh, errors in this uh, the output is working fine but still it can be enhanced in a great way uh, so ho hope you like this video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel um, thank you and thanks for watching the video